My primary medium is encaustic, which is an, an ancient Greek and Roman process of using hot wax and a, a damar crystal, which is a tree sap from Malaysia, um, and pigments, and you melt those on a hot palette, and then I paint on wood. So that's the primary medium that I uh, show in, but I'm also, uh, I really love materials, so I also work in gouache and watercolor. I've had a sketchbook practice for a long time, so I uh, love to draw. Um, I do small hand-built ceramics. Carrie Mosman is a teacher that I've um, had for several years doing uh, burnished pots. And then um, I also learned how to do stained glass. So I do some pieces in glass, some printmaking, some lithographic um, printmaking on glass and stained glass. I work best when I'm working on a series. So I identify kind of the parameters of that series. And then uh, within that series, I'll often have kind of series within a series. So for instance, this last um, project that I worked on, um, one series was working specifically from historical photographs from my family. So I'll find a photograph that I like, I'll draw that on wood, I'll paint with that on uh, the wax on the wood, and then I start um, letting surprises happen. So I'll start experimenting with the medium. This is like the playhouse. So it has all of my materials, it has um, an altar to my processes, it has um, a dedicated space so that I can come and go and don't have to clean up what I'm working on. So for me, having a studio space is absolutely essential to being able to be an artist. I have very um, limited time frames in which I can work. And so for me, it is being very disciplined and uh, carving out uh, money to have a studio, uh, time to be in that studio, and then developing, um, ha having very internally uh, motivated uh, projects that I identify myself um, and work towards. Art is the way that we share with each other um, and with ourselves what are, what's important to us. So it's part of how we communicate our stories about our culture, our families, who we are, our identity. Um, so for me as a maker, it is part of how I um, process the world and, and understand my own experience as a human and then um, it is part of how I then connect with other people and share that and have conversations about that and hopefully inspire other people to think about things that they might not have thought about otherwise. Being an artist in Boise has actually been a wonderful thing for me. One, I think um, financially to be able to afford a studio space outside of my home has been great. I have felt really welcome in this community. I feel like the, the artist community in Boise is very um, encouraging. I found a great support system. Uh, I think that the thing that is difficult in Boise is that there's not a lot of opportunities to show and there's not uh, as many people who are serious collectors. Oftentimes people will collect work from um, other cities or other locations. If I were to try to make a living as an artist, I wouldn't be able to do it. So I'm grateful that I have a day job and that I make money in a different way. But that said, I have as many opportunities as, as I want to show, I've always been able to um, make that happen. I feel like Boise is a, a fertile place um, to be an artist. And for me, it's also been important to, uh, to share that so that to have other artists continue to work here and stay and be here. That community of artists uh, is really important to me as friends, as colleagues, as um, encouragers. I've met a lot of people who begin as makers um, and then they become administrators and let go of that maker part of their life. So for me it is to hold on to the, the love and passion and value of being a maker and continuing to find inspiration um, in the world and then giving myself permission to, to do the work, um, to make things. And I think oftentimes as being an adult people see um, spending time or materials or money on art making as something that is silly or extra or a hobby, therefore not worthy. And for me, it's to continue to value that part of who I am and what I do in the world. Because I feel like everybody has something to say and, the, and that experiencing the world through the process of making is really gratifying. So I, I, um, I, I do understand that there's, not everyone will choose to do that as a, invest in the level that um, people who like myself feel this great passion to do it but I feel like it's something that everyone can do in some capacity. I think for me the other piece is that I, um, I'll continue to, to make work because it's how I understand what it means to be human. When I stop making work that's when I stop. Um, that's when I'll stop. <laughs> so I think I, it's something I will do until the day I die.